welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, we will be taking a look at seven methods that will hopefully fix the issues you are having with Grounded not working, not loading, crashing or any problems like that. But with any game preview game, you will occasionally bump into the unfortunate bugs or glitches or crashes which we cannot resolve unfortunately because that is just down to the developers of the game which means you will need to wait until they release an update for the game that will resolve those issues. But we will be doing our best to hopefully make the game run a lot smoother on your PC. And the first thing you need to do is check you have the latest updates for your Windows PC. To do this, all we need to do is open up the start menu and type in update. You now need to click on check for updates. And you then need to click on check for updates. And this will then check to make sure you have the latest updates for your PC. As you can see, the last time my PC checked for updates was yesterday, which means Microsoft may have released new updates today, which would then resolve the issues I'm having. If your PC has found new updates for your computer, then install those updates and restart your PC and then try and launch Grounded and see if that has resolved the problems you were having. If unfortunately that did not resolve the problem you are having, then the next thing you need to do is just make sure you have the latest graphics card drivers installed for your PC. If you have an Nvidia graphics card or an AMD graphics card, then go to those websites and make sure you have the latest drivers installed for your PC, as they are always releasing new drivers and they will be a lot more stable than the drivers you currently have, as they make improvements for the latest games. And you will probably find that they have already made better improvements on the Nvidia or AMD drivers for Grounded. So make sure you have the latest graphics card drivers installed. I will put links in the description below to the Nvidia site and the AMD website where you can fetch those drivers. The next thing you want to do is also make sure you are signed in as an administrator. If you're not an admin, then try and ask whoever is the admin on that PC if they can make you an admin and then launch Grounded and see if that does help with the problems you are having as well. As running games as an admin can always resolve a lot of issues, especially when it comes to writing and, well, not so much reading, but sometimes reading the files. If that has not resolved the problem, then the next thing you want to do is make sure you have turned off your antivirus. But just remember, turning off your antivirus, you will not be protected. So just disable your antivirus program and then launch Grounded and see if that has also helped the problem. As sometimes antivirus programs can cause a lot of problems, especially when it comes to gaming. And you probably will notice an increase in performance by disabling the antivirus, but it's not recommended that you have it disabled just because, like I said at the start, you won't be protected. If you do come to the conclusion that the antivirus is your problem, then do a bit of research and see if anyone else has had an issue with the antivirus program you're using and how to resolve that issue. So yeah, like I said, disable your antivirus and also then try disabling your firewall. Just in case your firewall is also blocking grounded from having internet connection access and that could also be causing you problems. The next thing we want to do is run a disk cleanup on our PC. To do this, all you need to do is open up your start menu and type in disk and you now need to click on disk cleanup. You now need to select your C drive and you will now have a list of options. You now need to go through this list and select as many of the options as you can. And once you are happy with your selection, you can go ahead and press OK. But just remember any of the options you have selected in this list, once you press OK and it starts deleting the files, they will be permanently deleted. So there will be no way retrieving these files again. 
Once disk cleanup has finished, go ahead and launch Grounded again and see if that has fixed the problem you were having. If that did not resolve your issue, then the next thing we want to do is re-register our .dll files, as this can also cause some problems sometimes. If a .dll has become unregistered, then you will also probably come across a few problems in Windows itself. To do this, all we need to do is type in CMD and run command prompt as a admin. You now need to click on the link in the description below and you will end up on my forum and you will be able to get this code. Once you have pasted the code in or you can type it out and pause this video right now, that's totally up to you. You can then go ahead and press enter. And your screen will now do this and it's basically re-registering all the .dlls back to our system. You can install this feature here if you want to or just press skip, that's totally up to you. I just press skip for this video. Once this has finished, as you can see mine's finished now, go ahead and launch Grounded again and see if that has fixed your issue. If unfortunately that has not resolved the problem, then the next thing we want to do is make sure we have the Microsoft Store closed. And you now need to open up your start menu and type in wsreset.exe. We now need to run this command as a administrator and this is basically going to reset the Windows Store. And with a bit of luck resetting the Windows Store, that's then going to fix a few issues when trying to launch Grounded and it may also fix issues with the game itself. But like I said at the start of the video, this will not fix any problems with the game inside the game if it's related to the developers. But yeah, clearing the cache there for the Microsoft Store and just giving it a reset will hopefully fix the booting up the game and launching it. You may need to sign back into your account as well to be able to launch the game. If the methods in this video unfortunately did not resolve the issue you are having, then unfortunately you may have to reinstall Grounded. That means uninstalling the game completely from your PC and then installing it again and then seeing if that has worked. I hope this tutorial has helped and if you have found a way to fix Grounded that I did not mention in this video then please comment below and help everyone else out. And don't forget to subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.